Hi everyone, uh, in this video uh, I'm going to explain to you how you can make a very very simple filter uh, without any exporting any other media uh, from uh, your computer just using Spark UI Studio as it is. Now it's going to be very simple so don't have high expectations but if you're just a beginner and you want to just get motivated just to see how simple it is to create something in Spark UI Studio uh, you can use this video and again it's, for, it's a very very basic and as we move on in future videos I'm going to explain to you how to do more advanced things uh, which some of them I created myself um, uh, for on wow filters and you can check out my Instagram wowfilters.com and you can see some of the things that I've created uh, again just so you know uh, my experience sums up about uh, six months something like that and maybe a bit more and I'm also I learned from the basics the very basics uh, and I brought up just programming language, but for other than this, I needed to learn everything from the beginning. So let's start. So how to create very basic things. Regarding the UI, I'm going to explain everything in a later video. But let's just create very simple face mask. Face mask. Uh, mask. Sorry, a red one with kind of a tint of uh, uh, orange. Uh, make it look a bit smooth. So to do this, all we need to do is add. First of all, we need to add a face tracker, something that tracks the face, because there's another option to uh, track the environment, uh, position and environment. So we want to track the face. To do this, we need to add a face tracker. So where's a face tracker? And click insert. You can do this by just clicking the add object and typing face, for example, and you can see face tracker, and you click the insert button. All right. Uh, now we want to add uh something under the face record everything you're going to add under the face record will move alongside the face because it moves relatively to the face to the detectable face now because it's under the face record it moves relatively to the origin of the face you can see the origin here so everything you're going to put is going to be relative to this pivot point so we're going to add a mask which uh it calls fast mesh we're going to add face mesh or go to add object and we can add put face and add face mesh and click insert it's automatically going to put it underneath the face tracker now this face mesh is unique to spark AI studio compared to importing other 3d objects because it positioning itself perfectly uh, on the detectable face now uh, if you use this one you're going to export it go to uh, upload and then export it uh, and upload it to your Spark AI Studio this is what you're going to see, you see the preview pane here this you're going to get, people are going to use your mask right now after these two steps, it can be even one step by the way if you just go to add and put face mesh it's going to import face worker and face mesh at the same time but if you that's what you're going to get, so user we're going to launch your filter we're going to see this uh, face ma mask with those uh, um, white and black squares on their face so you can create a filter like this in like a few seconds uh, but we can add something a bit different so what we're going to do we're going to click face mesh here and now we're going to make it look different color to do this what we need to do is go to the material section which is here when you press face mesh you can see all the properties on the right side here these are the properties of the 3D face mask that we just added. So we are different other things. Again, if it's a bit complicated, we're, not, we're gonna talk this in a later video. Right now, all we need to do is just change the color. To do this, we have a section called materials. You see materials here. Now to add a material, all we need to do is tap this plus button and this will add a material. Once we did it, you can see a material called material zero was added under a material folder this folder is added automatically just to make things arranged and clearly for you to clearly understand uh, or if you have many other um, assets uh, you have each one on each folder so you can collapse this and you can easily manage all your uh, assets if you have plenty of them now now you, again we're going to go to face mesh click face mesh and we can see the material we can double click the material after we edit or go here and tap this one or can I can see I can double click it they go here double click and it opens the material properties window uh, in the sidebar 
Now what we can do here is we have different options. Uh, quite a lot, but I'm telling you that we're going to learn this pretty fast and I'm going to explain everything in the next video. But right now, uh, uh, we're going to choose the shader type is the standard by default and we go to color. See color? Now click here and we open a color picker. Now we can choose a color, so we're going to be red, so we're going to choose red. You can choose any other color, just playing with this. And we can choose red. Here you have a face, um, a mask, a red mask on the face. Simple. Uh, we can also add images, but again, I'm going to explain it later on. Uh, and we can also change the highlight color. For example, if you want to something orangey, so I can, for example, click here, tap this here, and we have sparkle art. And this we're going to show us the color of the highlight area. So we're going to tap type, and we're going to choose color. Now you can see the highlight gets a bit of purplish because it's by default purple. I'm going to again tap here and we're going to choose yellow. So because we choose yellow, we have this kind of uh, orangey effect on the highlights because the combination of uh, red and yellow. I'm going to click OK. Now we can choose the smoothness and it's how the actually the light affects uh, reflects from the surface so we can choose with this now it's not smooth but if we take this slider and move it a bit you can see now it's smoother very interesting effect already very interesting right and we just did it in like one minute or two so it depends on what we want to achieve so that's it uh, another last thing I want to show you because I told you it's going to be very simple uh, you can change the opacity, the transparency of the mask. And to do this, you have, you see under rendering options, you have opacity. So this changes transparency. And then I can use this slider, it's 100% now, and move it left in order to reduce its transparency. Kind of a burnt face I have right now. And I can, you see, change it. Move it back. 100% opaque and more transparent. So this is it. This is a very simple thing if we're just beginners who just wanted to quickly create something to see that you know that is this Spark AR Studio is so easy to start and uh, working with and why so many people uh, are creating filters with it. You don't need to be a programmer uh, or have like a very uh, you know a lot of experience in design. Uh, and you can still create something with this. And of course, the more I'm going to explain to you, the more you understand how easy it is to create more advanced things. Although, when you're just starting, it's going to look a bit complicated, but I'm telling you, it's very simple. So what I need to do is just follow me on, uh, on my YouTube channel, and I'm going to release more and more videos uh, over time. Uh, so that's it. I'm going to stop here. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, press the bell button in order to get notified when we release new filters. And we're going to continue from there later on. If you have any questions, please, by all means, just write it down. And I do my best to answer you as fast as possible. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.